I literally have been trying to record this video for hours. I keep running into technical difficulties, so I'm going to try to be quick. Forgive people. Forgive people. It truly is for you, no matter how corny that sounds. And this is biblical. This is universal principle, regardless of what you believe in. But as far as for the followers of Christ, you're wasting your time praying. The Bible says that if you don't forgive, your prayers won't even be heard by God. The Bible also says that God's Jesus's greatest command, since we are now in a new covenant with Yeshua, the Christ, Christ's greatest commandment was to love God with all of your heart, which means you follow his commandments, which are actually um, directions to better your life. But anyway, Christ's greatest commandment was to love God with all of your heart and love your neighbors like you love yourself. So you have to think about the worst thing that you've ever done to anybody or the worst thing that you've done to somebody else. And don't you want to be given grace? So we're going to be given mercy and grace as we give it to the next person. That is universal. Like I said, whether you're a Christian or not, these are facts. Holding on to anger and unforgiveness is like holding on to a hot coal and expecting it to burn the other person's hand. You're self-harming yourself when you don't forgive. You're self-harming yourself because you're blocking yourself from your blessings, literally. Your prayers will not be heard. You're going to have stagnancy in your life, illnesses, a spirit of infirmity. I don't want you guys to get cancer and you're not even 40 yet. It's sad having issues in your marriage, having issues bearing children, having issues with your children, because you literally cannot let love in if you don't forgive. It's holding you back. Get therapy. You don't always have to go to a pastor, especially a lot of these pastors aren't even credentialed to be counseling. Seek therapy and seek his righteousness in everything that you do because we love because Christ loved us first. We were loved when we didn't even deserve it. And I know that some people have had some really awful, terrible things happen to them. It doesn't mean you have to have a relationship with that person. <clears throat> now my voice is going out. You don't have to ever talk to somebody again to forgive them. Forgiveness is in the heart. Forgiveness literally means um, from a Hebrew uh, definition to bend. You're bending to God's will. You're being, um, what's the word, vulnerable. And I know that that takes a lot of strength. It's not strong to hold on to hate and misery. I, I think some people's identity is rooted in that, and it makes them feel like um, they're in control of something. But the real control is giving control to God. Real control is in freedom. And the only way to have freedom is to forgive. So that's all I got for y'all because I'm so tired of recording, but I hope that it falls on open ears and open hearts. Don't wait till the year is up. Wait till the year is up for what? Do it today. Forgive today so that you can get out of stagnancy and negative patterns in your life.